Mahadevi Verma, the 26th of March 1907 to the 11th of September 1987, was a Hindi poet, freedom fighter, and educationist from India. She is widely regarded as the modern Mira. She was a major poet of the Chayavad, a literary movement of Romanticism in modern Hindi poetry ranging from 1914 to 1938, and a prominent poet in Hindi Kavi Samelans, gatherings of poets. She was the principal, and then the vice-chancellor of Preya G. Mahila Vidyapith, a woman's residential college in Allahabad. Life <laughs> Early life and education Mahadevi Verma was born on 26 March 1907 in Farakabad. Her marriage was arranged and conducted when she was nine years old, in 1916. However, she remained at her parental home and continued her education at Crosthwaite Girls' School in Allahabad. At this school, she met fellow student Subhadra Kumari Chohan, who would later go on to become a prominent Hindi writer and poet, like Verma herself. She stayed with her parents while her husband studied in Lucknow to complete his education, during which time, she received her higher education at the Allahabad University and passed her BA examination in 1929 and completed her master's degree MA in Sanskrit in 1933. Mahadevi was originally admitted to a convent school, but upon protests and an unwilling attitude, she took admission in Crosthwaite Girls College in Allahabad. According to Mahadevi, she learned the strength of unity in the hostel at Crosthwaite, where students of different religions lived together and the mess was also according to the religious requirement. Mahadevi started to write poems secretly, but upon discovery of her hidden stash of poems by her roommate and senior Subhadra Kumari Chohan known in the school for writing poems, her hidden talent was exposed. Mahadevi and Subhadra now started to write poems together in their free time. While others used to play outside, me and Subhadra used to sit on a tree and let our creative thoughts flow together. She used to write in Kariboli, and soon I also started to write in Kariboli. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 this way, we used to write one or two poems a day. She and Subhadra also used to send poems to publications such as weekly magazines and managed to get some of their poems published. Both poets also attended poetry seminars, where they met eminent Hindi poets, and read out their poems to the audience. This partnership continued till Subharada graduated from Crosthwaite. In her childhood biography Mir Bakpan K. Din, My Childhood Days, Mahadevi Verma has written that at a time when a girl child was considered a burden upon the family, she was very fortunate to be born into a liberal family. Her grandfather reportedly had the ambition of making her a scholar, although he insisted that she comply with tradition and marry at the age of nine. Her mother was fluent in Sanskrit and Hindi, and very religious. Mahadevi credits her mother for inspiring her to write poems, and to take an interest in literature. Following her graduation in 1929, Mahadevi Verma's husband Dr. Swaroop Narain Verma refused to live with her as she was not that good looking, she even unsuccessfully tried to convince him to remarry. She is reported to have considered becoming a Buddhist nun but eventually chose not to, although she studied Buddhist Pali and Prakrit texts as part of her master's degree. Professional life In 1930 Verma began teaching at village schools around Allahabad. Although she did not actively participate in political activities, particularly in Gandhian civil disobedience campaigns in Allahabad at this time, she adopted Gandhian ideals, including giving up speaking in English, and dressing primarily in Khadi. She was appointed as the first headmistress of Allahabad Mahila Vidyapith in 1933, a private college which was started with a view to imparting cultural and literary education to girls through the Hindi medium. Later, she became the chancellor of this institute. During her time at the Prayag Mahila Vidyapith, she organized several conferences of poets, or Kavi Semelans, as well as a conference for writers of short stories in 1936, that was presided over by writer Sudakshina Varma. She also continued to write extensively while teaching, including editorials for the Hindi magazine Chand, which she contributed to, edited, and also illustrated NCE in the value of their literary contributions. 
These editorials were later collected and published in a volume titled Shrinkhala K. Karyan The Links of Our Chains in 1942. After the death of her husband in 1966, she moved permanently to Allahabad and lived there until her death. Topic: <laughs> Works <laughs> Varma is considered to be one of the four major poets of the Chayavadi school of the Hindi literature, others being Suryakant Tripathi Nirala, Jayshankar Prasad and Sumitranandan Pant. She drew a number of illustrations for her poetic works like Yama. One of her other works is Nilkanth which talks about her experience with a peacock, which is included as a chapter into the syllabus of Central Board of Secondary Education for 7th graders. She has also written Gora which is based on her real life, in this story she wrote about a beautiful cow. Mahadevi Verma is also known for her childhood memoir, Mir Bakpan K. Din and Gilu, which was inducted into the syllabus of India's Central Board of Secondary Education for the ninth grade. In addition, her poem, Madhur Madhur Mir Deepak Jal, is a part of CBSE curriculum Hindi B for 10th grade. Her daughter-in-law, Abba Pandi, who is a central government officer is carrying the legacy of Mahadevi Verma forward. What arrests us in Mahadevi's work is the striking originality of the voice and the technical ingenuity which enabled her to create in her series of mostly quite short lyrics throughout her five volumes a consistently evolving representation of total subjectivity measured against the vastness of cosmic nature with nothing, as it were, intervening. No human social relationships, no human activities beyond those totally metaphorical ones involving weeping, walking the road, playing the veena, etc. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Awards. 1956 Padma Bhushan. 1979 Sahitya Akademi Fellowship. 1982, Gyanpith Award for her poetry collection Yama. 1988, Padma Vibhushan.